All right, Thomas here with a, another unboxing video. Uh, this time, the Dune RPG from Modiphius Entertainment. Uh, this literally arrived on my doorstep just a bit, a little over an hour ago. Uh, so let's uh, jump right in and take a look at all the goodies that are inside. <clears throat> Okay, so I've already cut the box open uh, and blacked out my address. So let's, I have not actually looked at the, ingre at the, at the ingredients inside. So uh, let's get that. Uh, some Dune flavored D20 dice, uh, you know, appropriately Dune flavored. Uh, I guess you can never ever have enough dice. So let's put this aside here. Move this over where we can see the stuff as I lay it out here. All right. Well packaged. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. Oh, it's all in a big pile of bubble wrap. If I can join the box. Okay. Let's look here. So, my experience with Dune, I saw the David Lynch Dune movie before I ever read the books. I was, uh, I think I was a freshman in high school when it came out and <laughs> dating myself here. And I have to say, I loved the movie. I thought it was awesome. In fact, I liked the movie so much that I immediately went and got the books and started reading them. And before I read the books, I didn't understand the complaints, why people were complaining about the movie and how... Uh, unfaithful it was to the books and how terrible the movie was. I just, I really liked it. I thought it was super cool. Um, but then after reading the books, obviously I was like, wait a minute, the books are a 10,000 times better. And, and of course, books are almost always better than movies, than the movie, but uh, adaptation. But in the case of Dune, it's extreme. I mean, the book is so good. It's just next level amazing. And, um, so I, I still appreciate the Dune movie. I like it for its visual style. I like the soundtrack is awesome. I like a lot of the actors that are in it. All right, so the first thing here is this player's journal. Uh, I think I think I'll open that up in, uh, in a bit. Let me get to the actual books first here. Of course we have the, you can see my reflection pretty well in there, can't you? Uh, so that's, this book's pretty hefty. It's really well crafted. So Modiphius, they do make really great quality books. I, I have to hand it to them. I have a couple of their other things. I have their um, uh, John Carter of Mars role-playing game. And uh, the quality of their, their printing is outstanding. The quality of the books. Uh, a lot of the art is amazing. There we go. I can see it a lot better now without all the shiny reflection of my face in the in the plastic wrap. So, uh, you've probably seen this cover probably. It's a, it's a really, I mean, it's a nice cover. And that really is, uh, I think how a lot of us picture Dune uh, in, our, in our mind's eye when we're reading the books, uh, Paul Atreides. Uh, right, so, let's go thumb through, table of contents. It looks like the book is, what is this? 300 and 30 pages. All right, table of contents. I, uh, first thing I always see if there's an index. I find books that are, you know, once they get to this size, they need an index. And I'm not seeing an index here. No, it doesn't look like there's an index. Appendix and character sheets. Um, useful tables. Oh, good, good. We do have an index. Fantastic. Of course, you know, Modiphius, they, they, they do very nice quality stuff. So, of course, they're going to have a good index. And it's very legible. It's not, text isn't too tiny. So, let's just thumb through the book real quick. Uh, and I just have to say, this artwork is really good. Uh, I was a little concerned. Some of the artwork I had seen looked like badly painted over CG models, uh, which is not my favorite art style. Uh, but... Maybe they, got, they, maybe they got some concept art from the movie. I don't know. I am really looking forward to that movie. 
<laughs> uh, so call me blown away. I am really impressed with the layout, with the graphic design work, with the artwork, the legibility. Everything is super clear. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, my only uh, problem with this game is that it's Modifius's house system, uh, the 2D20 system, which I am not a huge fan of. And, um, but I think I might give it a try with this. This looks like a really amazing, wow, I, 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 this is better than I expected. I, I was, uh, I, I don't know what my expectations were. Maybe because the John Carter RPG, the, uh, uh, the artwork was not all to my to my taste, um, but a lot of the writing was pretty good in it. But this one, hey, I good job, Modifius. Man, I'm excited to sit, crack this open, and really sit down and read it, and see what they did. It looks fantastic. <laughs> all right, uh, look at these character breakdowns: Granny Havoc, Thufir Hawat. Ah, Dr. Wong to you. It's nice. I, I have to say, it, it would be nice to have a little portrait of the character on the, on their character. I mean, there's there's enough white space they could have easily had. And I'm sure they have artwork for each of these characters. Um, but that's a nitpick. Maybe it's not a nitpick. I think that the important NPCs probably do deserve their own art. Okay, and some... Uh, Oh, good, good. Very useful uh, sort of character descriptions, general character descriptions. And I did notice that there was a uh, scenario in the back here. Okay, well, uh, off to a great start here. Let's set this aside. And here we have the Game Master's Toolkit. So I got the one, the Kickstarter. I don't think I got the Super Deluxe Kickstarter. But I did get the one that has the GM screen because I really, really like GM screens. Um, and my gaming group, they like the mystery of me hiding all my stuff behind the, the game, uh, game screen. Especially my kids. When I play with my kids, they they insist I get my old school, uh, uh, my old school DM screen from orig the original AD&D one that they used in the, the TV show uh, Stranger Things because uh, they like to they really liked that show and so even if we're playing fifth edition I have to use that old screen and then just put the fifth edition uh, charts inside there okay so game master toolkit and it looks like it just this is just a, a cover sheet with a an advertisement on the back all right and it has an advent. Oh, this is the toolkit. This is. Oh, I see. This is uh, notes on how to create an adventure. Adventure generator. That's useful. Oh, look at that art. That's fantastic art. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm a sucker for good art. I just love gorgeous art in role playing games. Well, in anything, but. Uh, look at this. This looks a really handy. Adventure Generator, lots of good information in here. Look at that, Children of the Jihad. See, this is what I was expecting for the NPCs to have like a full illustration for, you know, each of the major characters. Uh, cool. That looks super handy. And now let's look at the actual screen itself. Uh, it is, first of all, it's thick. The It is as heavy duty. This board is like, it's is almost like a game board thickness. This is not like your typical GM screen. And it folds out in a four. So it's really, really wide. Can't even fit it all on my screen here. There's the whole thing. It's a map of Arrakis. Dune, the desert planet. Um, so that's the facing side for the players. And then for the GM, we have, look at this, all the charts you're going to need to run the game right there. Super handy, very clean, very legible, with just enough graphics to make it appealing to look at. 
Okay, my dear fish, you are not playing around. You are serious uh, with this uh, with this product. So, there's the GM screen. It's been Key Master's Toolkit. All right, so let's go ahead and crack open the player's journal and see what we have here. Come on. Do I have to get my knife out again? Uh, yeah. There we go. Got it. Take it out of its plastic. It will never be newer than this. And here is the player's journal, front and back. Uh, the logo of Legendary, which is producing the movie. And this is just a, a little strip of paper, um, just for decoration. I don't know if you can see, there's a subtle map there. Uh, so here we have uh, this is for one player to have a very detailed journal of their adventures with a character sheet, um, house record sheet for recording all the details about their house. Plenty of pages. You know, this is so nice of a journal. Um, I can't imagine actually writing in it. Uh, I guess we should. I should. Uh, th not everything has to be a collector's item. Things are meant to be played with and used and enjoyed, not just to sit on the shelf and look pretty. Uh, graph paper. Oh, so mostly it's just... Wait, there's some graphic there. Did I miss something? No, so mostly it's just uh, line pages, a couple spots of graph paper, uh, and what is this? Oh, another character sheet. How many character sheets are in this one journal? A house record sheet. Okay, so I guess you could have multiple characters or uh, you could have multiple campaigns recorded over time in this um, as you play through different characters and houses. Oh, was there, was there a... Uh, oh, there is. Excellent. There is a bookmark ribbon. which I love these so handy to have in something like this okay so uh, this is what we have here we have the incredibly well bound if that's even that's cloth binding so that's not gonna fall apart anytime soon really hefty book and well designed so that's it, my unboxing of the Dune role-playing game by Modifius. Modifius, <laughs> I cannot wait to play this game. I this it's 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 actually well made enough. I might give the two D twenty system another try. We shall see. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day.